Cupcakes, it is Bila Day back with episode three of No Bake Motivate. And the title of this episode is called All Aboard the Support Train. And if you haven't guessed it already, we're going to talk about supporting each other. I'm going to talk about the benefits um, and the importance of supporting small businesses and up and coming creators. And I'm also going to talk about people that have been supporting me throughout this whole process of my YouTube channel. Now, I know you're probably looking at my shirt and wondering, what is she doing here? But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I will mention about the shirt later in the video. Now, as an up and coming creator, as I am myself, I wanted to add an element to my videos, which was to promote and shout out small businesses and other beginning and upcoming creators um, that are trying to make their way. Um, and I thought about it when I was along when I was creating my YouTube series and as I'm coming up with the different episodes that I'm gonna make and I knew I wanted to add that element. So what I'm gonna be doing on my videos um, is I'm going to, at the end of each video, along with, you know, of course, giving the, um, the lyrics to whatever song I find inspiring or motivating, I am also going to um, shout out um, any friends or anyone that I know that has a, their own small business that they're doing um, or um, any upcoming creators um, that are you know just beginning as myself um, because I, I, I just think it's so important um, to you know help other people out because if I can give someone a platform that I um, wasn't able to have I definitely want to do that for other people as well the importance of supporting a small business or an up-and-coming creator is because everyone starts somewhere we blindly follow name brands all the time you know whether it's an actual product or it's a nationally or internationally known store or you know even artists that we listen to um, or actors or or actresses we do that on a daily basis but why not support the local small business or the local creator um, because like I was saying at the end of the day we all start somewhere so everyone deserves a chance to be supported um, and to you know get that encouragement from other people to know like hey I see what you're doing you know good for you more than likely if you support a small business or a creator you're getting a personalized experience so like for example, if you're watching someone's YouTube video, you know that they're going to put their, uh, you know, their authentic personality into it, their rawness. And you know they're making it from a place of passion. Um, same as someone who's actually selling a product, whether it's jewelry or it's art or wherever the case may be, they are taking their passion and they're turning it into a tangible object that you can wear or you can hang up or wherever the case may be um, so you know when you're you know dealing with someone especially when they're beginning because more than likely they're not making money from what they're doing so anything they're doing they're doing it with love and they're and it is coming you know from a place of passion and also with um, becoming an entrepreneur it can be a super scary thing to dive into um, and it takes a lot of hard work you know there's definitely nothing easy as just beginning something um, so even if um, the product or you know whatever they're making videos about if it doesn't necessarily interest you that's okay because I'm not saying you're obligated to support anyone of um, to support anyone that's doing anything that you're not necessarily wanting to 
you know, get into or to buy. And that's perfectly fine. But it takes nothing to share, like a post, you know, write a comment, let them know, hey, this is cool that you're doing, you know, keep your head up, keep going, whatever the case may be, just to give some encouraging words. So to comment, to like, to share something, it doesn't take, it doesn't cost anything um, but your time. And it only takes a sec, couple seconds, you know, of that, you know? And it just, it, it just doesn't hurt to just check it out. And then along with, you know, just taking maybe that time to either like it, comment, whatever the case may be, and you can give someone else an opportunity. Maybe you can share that. Maybe just because you're not interested, maybe, you know, there could be someone else that you know that could be interested. So, you know, at the end of the day, we're all trying to make it. We're all trying to win. And it, it just, it doesn't take anything to try to help someone because with like I was saying, you know, being an entrepreneur, it can be super scary, but having people at least, you know, you know, let having or being able to know that someone supports you or that people care about what you're doing, it's just definitely a confidence boost. So if you do find someone and let's say you do check it out, you're interested, you know, go ahead, like, comment, wherever the case may be, give them some encouraging words, um, just so they can know that there's people out there that, you know, are willing to support their cause or their products or whatever, you know, content that they're trying to put out there. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about today is the support that I have been um, receiving throughout this whole process of me making this YouTube channel. Now, what I would also like to mention is throughout my life, and I actually came to the realization last year when I was beginning this channel, um, I found a new appreciation um, for the people that have been supporting my journey. Um, whether I was in middle school, whether I was in high school, whether I was in acting school, wherever the case may be, I have always had people that supported me. I haven't came across a lot of people that doubted me or told me that they didn't think I would make it or that my dreams were silly or that anything I wanted to do in life wasn't tangible or realistic. I've been very grateful to not come across anyone like that. And one thing that I realized is that when you have people that support you, one, don't take advantage of it because you don't come across a lot of people that actually genuinely care about you. So if you do take, the only way to take advantage of it is to show them that you appreciate them and that you know that they're there and you, you know, you appreciate their encouraging words and you know, anything they say um, about your dreams and, and that, you know, anything that they say that they, you know, they think that of what you can accomplish in life. And it is definitely not about the quantity of people that are supporting you. It is about the quality. I don't care if you have one supporter, whether that's your mom, your dad, your cat, your sister, your uncle, whoever the case may be. But if anyone is willing to believe in your dream, or believe that you know you can turn your passion into something or that you can accomplish whatever goals you're trying to do hold on to those people because they are so important and those are the people that are gonna ride for you those are people that are gonna be positive in your life and it's just so important to keep those people around and to show them that you appreciate you know the encouraging words and the positivity that they are bringing to your dreams your passions your goals you know whatever the case may be now before I go into the shout outs of the of the main supporters um, that have been supporting me throughout you know my journey of creating this YouTube channel and also as I'm posting videos um, I actually wanted to show you some screenshots so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here we go
So you just seen those screenshots. Um, it actually warms my heart to see them again because it's, it's just so incredible. Um, the people I have in my life that have just been so positive and always just cheer me on and believe in me sometimes more than I even believe in myself and it's absolutely crazy and with this newfound appreciation I know I want to hold on to these people tight and I definitely don't want to let go because you like I was saying previously you you just don't come across people like that that just genuinely care about you and your successes um, so Without further ado, I'm going to go into the names um, of the ones that are my main supporters. So here I go. Um, so of course, mom and dad, they always support me. They have always let me go into whatever path I felt has been right for me. They've never judged me. They never told me to do anything that I didn't want to do. So I definitely appreciate their love and support. And of course, even with the YouTube channel, they're still doing the same thing. So I love you guys. And um, my stepmom, Candace, she's also been a big supporter as well. Um, she's also been giving me feedback on my videos, saying how much she thinks that they help and that she, you know, appreciates and likes what I'm doing. So definitely a shout out to my stepmom, Candace. Um, and then, of course, we have my sister, um, who... You know, she normally gets up really early for work, and that's why I normally post my videos, because I always like to do it the night before. A little secret for anyone who wants to, you know, get um, started on watching my videos early. I actually do it that Thursday morning. Well, technically night. And I don't post about it until the evening. But anyways, um, my sister's always up bright and early, like, oh, hey, checked out your video. So she's super supportive of me. Um, and she actually has jewelry she's been making. Um, and I'm waiting for her to get that like page so I can post it because when she does, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, but she's definitely been one of my supporters and I definitely love her. Not just for supporting me, but, you know, I love her because she's my sister. But, um, yeah, she's definitely been uh, one of the main supporters. And then I have a coworker who's um, actually also an aspiring screenwriter, as I am myself, because along with doing these videos, um, I want to be a filmmaker and I want to be a screenwriter as well. Um, and he actually reposted my first video that I did. That, that was super cool because I wasn't expecting that. Um, so shout out to you. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, and then my um, one of my friends... Um, Marissa who actually did the art for my um who did the art for my YouTube um she's super talented and she's one of the sweetest people you'll ever meet and she definitely supports me as well so I appreciate that um and then I have my friend Lulu who has definitely been encouraging you know who you know when I'm feeling down because we actually work together actually a couple of these that I talk about work together and she just is always there to just, you know, lift me up when I'm feeling down. And she supports and watches my videos and gives me feedback as well. So I definitely appreciate her support. Um, and then I have my friend Marla, um, who uh, definitely has supported me and has been encouraging throughout this process as well. So I definitely appreciate your support. And then I have my close friend, Andre who has definitely been a big support system while I've been getting this started. You know, I've been able to, you know, share my thoughts and, you know, things that have been going on with me throughout this process. And he's just been there, you know, actually we've been encouraging each other, um, which has been super cool. So I appreciate his support. And then we have my bestie Mariah. She's always sharing, excuse me, she's always sharing my video. She's always liking, she's just always there to, you know, let me know that she's there, that she supports me in anything I've ever done. And we've just had that dynamic with each other. We've always supported each other. So, I love you, girl. Um, and then, okay, so I know I was talking about the shirt earlier. Like, okay, I don't get too excited. It's not like merch or anything. But my boyfriend actually got the shirt made for me. It was actually a surprise. I didn't even tell him to do it. He just did it. And he's one of my big supporters as well. Who, actually, he's behind the camera. He thinks he's so cool. Um, but anyways, yes, he's been one of the biggest supporters. And he's just, you know, he all, he never fails to let me know that he's here. He's going to support me in anything that I want to do. 
Um, so I do love him a lot, and I think this shirt is so cute, and I appreciate his support as well. I just want to say just a big thank you to not only just my main supporters, but anyone who has been watching my videos, who have liked my posts, you know, wherever the case may be, I appreciate anyone because I'm an upcoming creator and this is my start. This is where I'm starting my journey and I'm excited to go forth and I just I just wanted to be known that I appreciate the support. If you're coming to watch this video, if you watch my previous videos, thank you so much. Now we are getting to the part of the video where I share lyrics to a song that I find inspiring, motivating, whatever the case may be. And since this video has been about support, um, the video, oh I'm sorry, the lyrics I have chosen today is Look What You've Done by Drake. And this is from his Take Care album. And this is actually one of my favorite Drake songs. So I'm going to go into the lyrics. Uh, which are, is this ish real? Should I pinch you? After all the things we've been through, I got you. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Look what you've done for me now. You knew that I was going to be something. When you're stressed out and you need something, I got you. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Now, that song is mostly him talking about his life, how he grew up. And the people that support him bless you and so um I, I feel like the song it's not very literal lyrics pertaining to support but it just talks about his life how he grew up and you, you know he's thanking the people that believed in him as he was on his journey to you know becoming this rapper um so i just think that song embodies you know what it's like when you know you're you're first beginning your journey and you have those people that are supporting you and that are your rock and that just believe in you and i just feel like it just gives me that kind of fuzzy feeling like i can do this i can get to where i want to be and i'm going to get to where i want to be because i have people surrounding me that have this positive energy and that you know believe just as much as i do that i'm going to make it i'm going to get there and i'm going to be successful um so I definitely, definitely think that's a very just a feel good song to listen to. And then also you hear about his story as well. Something else that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to create a playlist. So any of the songs that I mentioned in my videos, there's going to be a playlist on my YouTube channel so that um, you can be able to check it out and actually see the songs that I'm talking about. Um, and then, you know, of course you can comment, let me know what you think about it. Um, but I just think that's a cool little element to add as well. Now, earlier when I had mentioned about shouting out, um, those that either have small businesses or upcoming creators, I'm going to go ahead and start that in this video because duh, talking about supporting people and actually two of my main supporters, um, have their own podcast both of them have podcasts um so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm going to just tell you a little bit about them um so one of them of course um it's my bestie um her name is mariah and she has a podcast called hood rich mom it's super entertaining it just talks about her life work you know how she's not a traditional mom she's you know a young mom and just her adventures in life and she's super funny to listen to and it's super entertaining um it, it's it's definitely something new it's different um and she actually has her podcast on multiple platforms but i'm gonna put um a link to her SoundCloud. That's how I listen to it. So I'm going to put a link to her SoundCloud in the description box. But if you want to listen to it on different platforms, just literally Google Hood Rich Mom or go to her Instagram at Hood Rich Mom. Um, also, she has a Facebook like page, but any of those platforms you can go to and just type it in and be able to find it. But I'm just going to put the SoundCloud link in the description box below. I also have um, one of my other uh, close friends that I was talking about is Andre. And he has a podcast called Dre Zay or Zay Every Zay. <laughs> okay, and I really enjoy saying that with that voice. 
Um, so yes, he has a podcast. It's super entertaining. There is a little bit of everything in his podcast. You can either, uh, um, you can listen to it for his political talks. You can listen to it um, because he has, you know, he talks, he expresses his philosophies about life and, you know, things that he's learned in life. And, um, he, you know, he gives out lessons and advice. Um, he also talks about just topics that are going on in the world, big things that are going on in the news, um, a variety of things of that nature. And then um, he also has hot topics talking about celebrity gossip. Um, he just has a variety to listen to. So you're going to find something that you're going to be interested in. And I just love the way he talks. And he's, he's just super entertaining. I'm going to post the link to, I'm going to put the Spotify. I know most people have Spotify. I listen to it on the Anchor app, which I do enjoy. Um, and it's free. You can just download it. But if you have Spotify, go ahead. But if for whatever reason you want to listen to it on a different platform, because he has it on many, um, then all you got to do is Google Dre Zay or Zay every day. Okay, honey? And, um... And yeah, he also has a Facebook like page um, and a Twitter. So go ahead and check him out. Also check out my bestie. And I'm definitely going to have those links um, below so you can check them out. All right, guys. We are actually getting to the closing of this video. I know I don't want to leave you guys, but I got to go. Especially because I'm doing this late at night and I got to actually, you know, I got a real job. I got to go work in the morning. But anyways, um, so like I said, we're getting to the closing of this video. Um, a few things I, I want to say before I do go. Um, one, I wanted to try something new. I know I have a survey, which definitely take that. It's going to be in the description box below. Um, so of course, take the survey because I want to get to know my audience. But I'm also going to add um, my Gmail which is nobakemotivate at gmail.com. So let's say if you're maybe not into taking a survey and you want to email me or, you know, you could just do both. That would work. Um, but any topics or anything um, that you want to talk about, either you want to hear me talk about or maybe if you have questions and you're just like, hey, what's going on? Or even better, if you are an entrepreneur, have a small business, or if you um, are an upcoming creator, you're like, hey, can you like shout me out your video? Uh, duh, that's what we're here for because we are all here to win and we can all win. You know, why not support each other? We have too many people in the world trying to tear us down. We're trying to compete with him, compete with her, compete with whoever. And at the end of the day, we can all win. But anyways, I got off subject there. So definitely, you know, write to my email, questions, topics, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm very open to that. Um, and let's see. You know, spread the word about No Bake Motivate. There is definitely nothing wrong with spreading the word because No Bake Motivate is here. Let people know it is here to encourage, to motivate, to support you, to get you through the week. Um, so definitely, definitely let people know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And then also comment. You know, I want to engage with people. I want to know what you think. Maybe you have something to say about this video. Or maybe you have a small business where you're like, hey, I know this person doing this. Go ahead, put in the comments, like, wherever the case may be, because I definitely want to interact with everyone. Um, and I think that's it. I think I covered everything. I hate if I, like, finish a video and I go, dang, I should have said that. But I think I got everything. You think so? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. And don't forget, support people. It's okay. Bye.